Hey everybody, so today we have here, this is a MacBook Pro. It's the A2251. This is a 2020 MacBook Pro. And we're going to be doing a screen replacement on this one. Uh, it's pretty obvious. You can see the little crack in the corner there. It actually blacks out the whole display. You can see the touch bar is actually on. There's little icons at the very top here. You can see I touched. Um, so it would be working. You can even work on an external display and do that as well. Even though it looks like it's just right there, we still need to replace the screen. Um, so we're just going to be showing you how to do that. Pretty straightforward repair. A uh, customer came in for that. And we're going to be doing that for them. Alright, so let's just open up the back. take off a bunch of screws there Let's just take a suction cup open it a little bit here and what you want to do is you want to hear these sides go they like to go pop okay, and then that should come up and then what you can do is you can just pull on this side here and you just pull and this should come up it's a little bit difficult probably the best way to do it is because there's a little so there's a little bit of latch on each side here even on the left side and on the back side here and you definitely want to make sure that it just comes off it is, can be a little bit difficult. There's a little bit of hooks that go on there, but um, yeah, just be careful. Just be careful with it. Of course, you always want to unplug the battery. You want to remove this whole top piece here. There's the Wi-Fi that actually goes over here, and you also want to take off the connections, obviously. So let's start with the connections. There is a cable that actually goes up here. Let me take this off. So you want to remove that piece, and then you also want to remove. Oops. We got that off, and we want to remove the top piece here too. This is the cover for the actual connection. This comes up, and this you can usually get under this with your fingernail. Um, the other, this cable actually goes underneath the board and connects on the other side of the board. So if it was ever damaged or needs to replace, you have to remove the whole entire board. But for this case, um, since we're just doing a screen replacement, we can just take it up there and it'll be lifted just like that. Now you want to remove the rest of it. So there's a lot more screws here. We're going to go on this side. That's just a little um, little black spring piece that comes up there. And you also want to do these ones as well. There's four screws here. That's, this holds in the Wi-Fi connection to the actual board itself. Or to the, at least the LCD part. Um, these are very important that you get. Especially all these screws are very important that you put them in the right order. Okay, so we took those out. Now we have um, the hinge screws that are exposed here, just like any other type of uh, screen. The last one, we want to make sure we take out the antennas here. You can just get a little piece to go underneath it. It's very fragile. It's very, very easy to damage it. And there's a screw here that holds it in. Okay, and after that, we're just going to go bend this up. So you want to go up towards um, towards the front part here. Just bend it a little bit up. And it should curl down a little bit. You can just feel it. And this will come right out. Everything else should be lifted. Bend it this way. All the way out. And then it's going to just come loose. Just get a good feel for it. Okay, and it's just going to come up just like that. So you're just left with um, that piece. And you're going to be left with an actual screen. Okay, so that's the removed screen there. You can see that this whole part actually comes up. Um, sometimes you have to do these. Some of the replacement screens don't come with, with these little covers. So sometimes you have to remove them. Sometimes you don't. Um, it depends on what you get. So you may have to remove these. If you do, it's just two screws on each side. Uh, we can do that too, I guess. It's fine. 
just for you guys. It's not a complicated thing to do. And they're just little covers. And what the covers are going to do, they're going to protect the actual uh, cable itself from being damaged. And this is just so it goes down and it holds the, the cable actually down flat. Okay, so that's it so far. And that's your finished product there, just removing it. Oh, I held them. Screws. So we're just going to put the new screen on. Looks really nice and clean. So make sure these cables are up here. Slide it in. Oops. I see that's exactly why. So make sure these cables are up. Slide it in. Just going to bend these down. Inside, make sure these look pretty good. And you just want to put in these first. This will be good. Just going to hold these in with the three screws on each side, so at least holds the the screen in place. You don't have to totally screw them in totally tight. Screwing them in too tight, um, you won't get a good uh, loose. I'll show you when you fold it over. You want to make sure that it, it it goes in totally well and that it's not going to and that's going to actually put itself in place well so watch so once you put all these three screws in you don't have to totally tighten them again you just want to loosen it so when you fold it and open it you want to go like that a few times so what it'll do is uh, the screws will fall in place and the holes will be a little bit better so now you can fully screw it in and it will just make sure that you're not going to have any crickle crackle noises or <laughs> or anything else just like that so you want to make sure these are in totally well so you never have to even touch this again or even think about touching it again. Okay, so once you put those in, once you screw those in, now you want to put definitely this Wi Fi connector back in. And this can sometimes get a little tricky underneath because it goes at least a little bit underneath the heatsink here. And it comes up there. You want to get like a little plastic tool maybe to help you out. See, it comes. It's very strange. Let me zoom this one in because it's, it's a little bit weird how it works. So you can kind of see uh, you need to lift it up or at least go down. You want to go like down and up like that, the down and up motion, so you can get the, the cables to hit the other side. Sometimes one's a straggler, it's hard to get it. You get the two up, which is good. Because the, the only way to do it otherwise would be to, to open up the whole heat sink and you have to remove the whole board, which is kind of unnecessary for something like this. So, this one's kind of a... There we go. So you pull them through. Make sure this three go through like that. And you also want to have the little metal piece where the screw goes. You want to make sure that's lifted as well. So, uh, there we go. Just like that. So now it's fully through and you can see the screw hole is in. That's what you want there. And you see this is very, very wobbly. And this is where it's important to have the right screws um, for this part because this is what's going to give you problems if you don't have the right screws or if you forget to place them in the right way. And you also want to make sure that this cable goes over like that. So now we want to make sure we screw this in. going to happen is you're going to get this piece this piece can rub up when you bend this it's going to rub up against it when you open and close it You'd, you would hear a creaking noise against it when you open and close it so you can test that there and this should be totally in right once you do that make sure you hold this pushed up to here when you do screw these and things in you'll notice that it'll make a creaking noise like when you open and close it um, it is possible to to have that happen so you want to avoid that but um, Oh yeah, we didn't put these because ours didn't come with it, these little covers here. So we can put this back on now.
once everything looks good plug back in the battery Plug this back up. Just want to slide it in each one. So I got this little clip, middle of a clip. That's it. It's nothing too difficult to do. I just want to always be careful when you're doing connections or anything like that. We, we do specialize in more Mac repairs, liquid spill repairs. Uh, we do screen replacements as well. So um, we have all of our contact information located in the description. We also recently opened up a store, so um, we're updating inventory um, all the time for those parts and just show you guys how to install certain parts that we actually do have in our store. So definitely stay tuned for that. So anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Hope you found it very informative, helpful. If you guys found this informative, enjoyable to watch, um, stay tuned for other videos. Um, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help us a lot. Please uh, leave a like as well. It really does help us a lot. We really do appreciate all the support you guys have been showing. Um, hit the notification bell too to see when we do upload and you can watch our videos right away. So um, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed and bye.